What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether grind here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Cam, saying that he wants to get the ballistic knife done on Maurdig Toten. So that's what we'll be doing today. Also, if you want to suggest a weapon for us to use, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll have a comment down there as well, showing all the weapons that we have left to get. So make sure you check that out before leaving a suggestion. So I already went ahead and got this leveled up. We got it leveled up today on stream. We got this leveled up on stream, playing some sticks and stones with viewers. So if you guys ever want to try to hop into any games, you can go ahead and stop by the streams. Uh, we normally do open lobbies when we're leveling weapons up. But let's go ahead and check on what camos we need today. We're gonna need 1500 kills, which should be able to get pretty easily. 1500 kills while enemies are distracted or disoriented by stuns, monkeys, or decoys. So pretty easy there. 1500 kills while it's pack-a-punch to use either aether shroud or ring of fire i think we can use uh ring of fire today but aether shroud actually might be better because we'll be able to shoot and melee with aether shroud we're in ring of fire we're really, really going to be shooting so i don't know maybe we'll start with aether shroud for fauna we need 10 special or elite elimination should be pretty easy 10 or more kills rapidly and then our jackrabbit metal so not that bad but let's go ahead and put some attachments on this thing we're gonna go with the three big balls and for our sticker we always gotta go with a little chicken and i think that's good we'll have our sack hanging as we're playing uh yeah i'm gonna switch to aether shroud for a bit once we get the camo done then we can switch to uh ring of fire but let's go ahead hop on mauer and get this thing done all right here we go revenge is gonna go ahead and drop us off here on mauer and this should be interesting because i don't actually remember how this thing does in zombies i know we can use a melee and we can shoot it so that should be good, even though we only have like 12 bullets. But this should get interesting. Uh, with our crossbow, the damage fell off like pretty fast on it. I wonder if it's the same way here on the ballistic knife, considering they're the same class. I guess we'll find out. And we already have two stuns, so we can get that camo going whenever we want. I think I'll wait till we're in like a later round. That way we're not only stunning like five zombies. But every time we're on here, I always talk about the bubble thing. and I never have a weapon to use it. Let's see if it happens here. Yeah, you see the bubbles coming off? I can still collect it from there too. So like you see just bubbles coming out of this area. If I had like a full auto gun, I'd be able to show it better. But we still have never discovered why it does that. Anyways, let's just start knifing some zombies and grabbing this loose change. Oh, we got an insta kill. Don't really need that. So I'll leave that on the ground. That way you can still get our aether shroud. And I'll do one more round here because I don't really feel like getting caught down there. I guess I wouldn't get caught, but oh, I actually grabbed the insta kill. Shit. See, I'm sitting here stumbling over my words and then stumbling into power ups. But the zombies will spawn faster here. We get some more kills here. Get some cash built up before we head down because I always just head down too fast. Don't have enough money to get anywhere. But I'm going to wait for this insta kill to wear out before I get any more kills. That way I start building towards this aether shroud and we can get some camos going. Is this one hit killing on a, on a shot? Okay, it is. And I can pick it up after, so that's good. I wonder how many bullets we're going to have when this thing's pack-a-punch. I feel like it's not going to go up by a whole lot. It seems to be that way for, like, special weapons. Oh, a nuke. We'll take that at the end of the round. Easy points. Okay, we almost got an Aether Shroud built up. We got double points, though. It's always on, like, the second-to-last zombie. Actually, we got a few more zombies here. That's not that bad. But we definitely have enough points to move on, so I'm going to do that. Open this up. Take the zip line. I'm going to try to rush over to this perk machine before double points end so I can get a little extra loose change. There we go. Got to make money where we can. Pop this open. We make it a speed call in time. Oh, uh, just short. I guess I'll still take it though. And we have an Aether Shroud built up. So I'm going to go down, take out this Tempest. Let me get that Elite Elimination. And then I'm going to wait for all the zombies to spawn in. We'll group them up, Aether Shroud, and stun them and get some progress on that as well. Okay. Tempest isn't spawning in this corner. So he's going to be back here in the shop. Yep. Can I snipe him from here? Ooh, it did half his damage. Okay. You're getting knifed. There we go. Give me that fuse. All right. We got a pretty nice group of zombies here. Let's make sure that they're all closer together so the stun hits them all. It's very dark right here, though. It's hard to see them. Mauer is like one of the darkest maps before you turn power on. It's insane. Okay, whole group of zombies here. Let's stun Aether Shroud and get some kills that way. There we go. Look at the camos drop in. Perfect. Bravado camo. I'm pretty sure we got our Decidence camo there and Stroke. So very nice. Three camos and one go there. All right. I always forget to grab my loose change from Jug here. So I'm going to take that before we move on. And let's open this and head on down. There's a dead shot. Thank you for the money. Oh, another stun. They really want to help me get this challenge done. Zombie, you better climb up here or you're going to get hit. Ooh, lucky. Okay, let's try to not get hit by this train and make it across. Let's open the door to power. Grab our loose change here. Throw on the power switch. Oh, more zombies coming in. We'll put in our fuse. Okay, lots of zombies in here, actually. I'm just going to train them up and stun them. The Stone Cold Stunner. Right about here. 
There we go. That should be progress right there. Show me a camo. No camo for that, really? I got scammed. Oh, there it is. Where's Wasteland? And now I'm in a race against time because uh, I went ahead and I ordered some food off DoorDash. Thinking to be here a lot faster, but it said it was going to be about an hour. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just start recording. And then when it gets here, I'll, ha I'll have to just pause and leave. Oh, let's change from Mule Kick real quick. So I'm going to try to get power on before my food gets here. Ooh, Growl Camo and drop an armor for me. Very nice. But I really like using the ballistic knife. It's like a hybrid between melees and specials. It's like the, the perfect weapon for for zombies because like not only can you get camos real easy on this but when you're playing this with like other people i think shooting the ballistic knife at them while they're down revives them which is really really cool i think it's like the it, actually it is the only weapon that can do something like that that has another ability outside of just like what it can do like in multiplayer all right can i craft a stun i can all right get stunned aether shroud uh how did i only stun like one zombie there they all started running immediately all right i guess i'll just get aether shroud kills there's boutique I think we might be pretty close to getting that one done. But getting our uh, our jackrabbit medals might be a little difficult today. Especially the way I'm playing. I'm running right at zombies just knifing them. I need to be a little more careful. I'm grabbing decoys. Can I upgrade this thing at all? Probably not because I just spent all my salvage. Should have thought about that. All right, let's start up the pack-a-punch. Get the disciple to spawn. And I'll let him use all of his little zombies here. We'll take them all out before we kill the disciple. Make sure we're getting as much as possible. I'm just going to loop right here for a minute. Hopefully I don't die. Okay, throwing out the decoy. I'm surrounded. I need to move now. Let me out. I said, hopefully I don't die. And I did. Well, that was stupid. I should have waited for the zombies to hoard around the, the decoy before going for it. But, you know, got a little excited. And I did not have an Aether Shroud to bail me out either. That was a very dumb move. Oh, and there we go. We got it level 30. So we can start working on our Jackrabbits now. Ooh, and the melee is not a one-hit kill on these zombies that are powered up by the Disciple. We're going to need to get this thing pack-a-punched ASAP. Okay, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Holy shit, 12 HP. That Disciple's doing damage. All right, Disciple, your turn. Got him. Let's go. And he dropped some ammo for me. Let's go ahead and grab Pack-A-Punch, and we'll get Shatter Blast. And this is what the Ballistic Life looks like with the Mauer Pack-A-Punch. Oh, you can see our sack hanging. Let's go. And the sticker stayed on. This looks really good. Mauer's Pack-A-Punch camos are pristine. The gold handle with a Slurp Juice Blade. Pretty crazy. I like this a lot. But my DoorDash is here. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. The food is safe and sound. We'll be eating when I'm done recording. Also, this is not sponsored in any way by DoorDash, but if they would like to, in my line. I just don't believe in my house, so I just get everything DoorDashed. But we're about to get these camos DoorDashed. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get at least one kill here. Okay, the Shatter Blast helps out a lot, but they got exactly what I was looking for. One, we get a camo there for our rapid kills, but they dropped us a stun as well. So what we're going to do is group these zombies up, go into Aether Shroud, and then stun them. I think that's the, the move. Wait, we're stunning before Aether Shroud. Okay, so let's do that while we we just all have some double points going. Aether Shroud. Get the stun. Please Shatter Blast. There's Amphibian. Let's go. That was some good camo progress there. There's Manic. I think we're all done with our Aether Shroud kills now. I'm pretty sure Manic's the last one. I never remember to check though. And there's a Jackrabbit Metal. We should be getting a camo on that one soon as well. We're doing, we're making good progress here. I really need to get Quick Revive like right now though. Because uh, what's it called? Juggernaut? That's definitely not it. Panzer. Panzers are about to show up and just mess me up. So I'm getting Quick Revive, Jug, and Death Perception so I can get some more scrap. More scrap is more stuns and decoys. And more stuns and decoys means more camos. And I was right. That Panzer showed up right as I was talking about him. This thing does well against him. He's already dead. Let's go. Scavenger camo. Easy. And corrosion camo. Let's go. Let's see if we can get out of here fast. Maybe we can get out of here in like melee camo time. Like 27 rounds. Easy. That's my prediction. 27 rounds. Extortion camo, extorting all the zombies. Oh, I'm all out of ammo for this thing. Good thing I can just knife. Okay, what do we need now? We'll get mule kick. So if we do end up getting any stuns or anything, we have a chance to hang on to them. Well, I guess we're going to need kills in ring of fire anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, we have one aether shroud to use. I'm going to use this last aether shroud and then we're going to bring a fire the rest of the game. I want to see how that goes. Oh, also mule kick will drop us some more ammo as well. It seems that we're running out of that quite a bit. There's our glacier camo. 250 kills with a knife. We just need 1,250 more. Should not be too difficult. All right, what else can we get? Does speed Cola even matter? I don't know. Well, let's get Deadshot just to make sure that we're a little more accurate. Oh, I guess Speed Cola matters for getting uh, our field upgrade faster, which I still haven't used. I need to burn those. Why am I at Pack-A-Punch? I don't even have enough for Pack-A-Punch. Let me upgrade this. Let's get to green. Let's grab some more scrap from these little areas. It also dropped us a stun, which is perfect. All right, this is a big enough group. Let's take the shroud. Stun the guys trying to run away. Shatter Blast will help us out. We got a double points on the ground too. We'll snag that. 
We got a boundary camo out of it. And a threshold camo. We need 10 more kills while they're distracted. Got our rapid kills done. Is, why does it say rapid kills? That's not the name of that camo. That, that's the gunrunner camo, I'm pretty sure. The name of that camo is not rapid kills. That's weird. I've never seen that happen before. Or I just haven't noticed it before. I feel like if I sit up there, I'm going to forget to Aether Shroud or do anything. So once we get these 10 more stuns, then we'll go up there and switch to, to Ring of Fire. I keep moving the goalpost, and when we'll switch, we'll do it. And another stun on the ground. Let's go. Okay, we should get this camo done, like, right now. And then we'll only have to worry about our rapid kills, our jackrabbits, and just, like, normal kills. So basically, we just gotta sit there and get kills and don't get hit, and we'll be done. Oh, lead kills, too, I guess. Why am I just now remembering those? Sorry, pal. Give me my zebra camera. We need four more. Four more elite kills. We'll be good to go. Let's do this. Aether Shroud. What's up, fellas? Get stunned. Any Shatter Blast want to come out? Don't think so. Let's get a few kills here. There's our Banish camo. Okay, all right. So we are done with the Disoriented. Sick Nasty. Let's go ahead and switch to our Ring of Fire before we start building up a whole nother Aether Shroud. I can't speak today. Let's try our best not to get hit. We'll just use our stuns while we got them. And that last zombie hit me. But we got our Entropathy camo. And it keeps just saying rapid kills for every camo. That's weird. Why would they tweak something like that? Is it always been like that for the Ballistic Knife? Or were they trying to tweak camos for Cold War? So if they're trying to add something to check camo progression in game, I'm down for that. Even if it is like a year after the game's released, I'll still take it. Give me Speed Cola and give me Elemental Pop. Oh my god. I thought Elemental Pop was going to be crazy with uh, the crossbow. It's even crazier with the Ballistic Knife. He just reloads so much faster. Like Speed Cola, there's like zero reload time. Honestly, I'm going to use this time to grab Stamina up. Tormentor, hold on. I'll be right with you. Never mind. You took care of yourself. Well, I'm going to take this time to move on down to the Electrical Room. I feel like our rounds will go faster down there. Any upgrades I can do? Let's get this thing to blue. The next thing we'll do is upgrade our armor. This Tormentor stuck. Do you see that? They're standing there screaming. Hold on. What are you doing? Come here. Knife. So we'll try to survive in electrical. Hopefully we can. And then once we have enough to go ahead and get packed two, we'll head back up. Oh, of course, a panzer shows up. Our first round down here. Already dead, though. Maybe Ring of Fire isn't the best thing to have with a ballistic knife. Because we don't have that much ammo for it anyways. Maybe Aether Shroud was the move. Because we can get two of them. Yeah, I think I'm switching back to Aether Shroud. I am... I, I, I cannot make up my mind during these grinds. There's the generation camo. 250 kills while it's pack-a-punch. Very nice. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed uh, Elemental Pop. I feel like it's going to start taking away from our kills pretty soon here. I feel like we're going to get Brain Rot when we don't want to. Yeah, it's still saying rapid kills. That's not what it's called. I mean, that's the, the challenge we have to do. That's not what the camo's called. It's lying to us. Blue Tiger, let's go. We have one more camo to go on our elite kills. Oh yeah, this electric cherry is killing a lot too. It's keeping us safe. It's trying its best, you know? It doesn't know that we're going for camos. Oh, and I don't know if you guys can see that. If you look at the, the ball sack on our ballistic knife, it swings when we move. Oh shit, it's, it's pretty cool. There's our contamination camo. We're moving up on our jackrabbits here. Oh, and we have enough to get packed too, so let's just go do that. Any upgrades you can do though? We can get armor level two, and we can upgrade this to purple. This is what Pack Punch 2 looks like on the ballistic knife. Let the nuts hang a little bit. Looking very good. More slurp juice on the blade with the green handles this time. Mauer's pack camos look so good. There's our grudge. 500 kills now. And more rapid kills. That was our Sunder camo. And there's our Rising Tiger camo. And we almost have enough to get pack three. We're, we're building up to it. How many kills are we at? 737. Not bad. I wonder if Electric Cherry counts towards your weapon. Because if Shatter Blast does, you'd think Electric Cherry would. But maybe not. There's our downfall. 500 kills while it's pack a punch. Uh-oh. They're playing on my down, praying on my downfall because I'm down. I can't speak. There's no zombies to kill to get up. I swear if the same thing happens like last time. Come on, zombie. Spawn right now. Right now. I'm demanding you. Come through this window. Come on. No way. He's getting away. Okay, we got up. We got up. We got up. Oh, that's stressful. I need to go get a self-revive. I'm not having what happened during the crossbow video happen again. I'm leaving. Let's see if I'm fast enough to buy one. Do I even have enough? 520. That should be enough salvage for it. Okay, never mind. Not here. This is not the place to grab it. So let's open this up and go grab it from over here. It's gonna take a second for zombies to start spawning over here. So we can use this crafting table. Go right here. Snag it. Use the rope. Go with the rope. No! We used the rope, but we, we have to use our self-revive now. At least we grabbed one, but we just made it more expensive for ourselves. Shit. This got difficult. And now we're trapped up here. Oh, quick revive. No, we're not. I forgot the machine was up here. Okay, we're good. We have a, a lifeline. You know what? We might as well just train up here for a second while we have them all spawned here anyways. So we can get a nice shatter blast on them. There we go. I'm heading back down the rope. Oh man, that got 
stressful fast. What happens when you don't got a self-revise? I need to buy tombstone, I think. Last time I didn't, and it, and, and it was my downfall. I could have grabbed pack three, but we're going to need more perks to be able to survive before we get pack three, because Shatter Blast can carry us. Let's do this. Get these. I'm grabbing tombstone just in case. We have some camos now, and we have an aether shot. We can survive up here for a bit. Stunning. I'm down again. We have quick revive, so once the zombie dies, I'll be good to get up. There we go. This is ridiculous. I'm going to grab quick revive right now and tombstone. I also need to grab armor. This got difficult fast. What else can we grab? Nothing. We're broke. We have one zombie left. I don't think we have enough to grab uh, another self revive, but we might. 300 might be enough. I forget how much uh, it goes up by every time you buy one. I think it might be 50. Oh no, we can afford it. Oh, it is 300. So we had the perfect amount. All right. Well, no more electrical room for me. It has uh, thoroughly scared me. I just virtually shit my pants. We went down four times in that round. That's how fast things can just fall apart. Oh, great. Now they're like, you know what? Take the round off. Have a torment around. I don't want a torment around. Give me actual zombies. Oh, those stuns are really coming in handy. Okay, there we go. Aether Shroud. Get some knife kills here while they're all trying to climb down. Easy. Okay, round 27. We're not getting out of here by the normal round. It's not looking like it. We have 980 kills. That I, I, I think that elemental pop is really digging into our kills. I'm not going to grab it this time around. I will, however, get death perception and mule kick. This has got to be like the best strat. Get them all to climb up. And while there's still more climbing up, just Aether Shroud right here into this corner. And they'll all have to climb. The ones that are climbing will have to finish climbing. And they'll turn around to get down. And the ones that are up will turn around to get down. And everyone will be in the same spot for some easy kills. I'm going to do that again. Just sit here and knife. Oh, this is so simple. And if Shatter Blast goes off, that's even better. Except I don't have any stuns though. So when I don't have Aether Shroud, it's kind of... Uh... A little scary up here. There's our glitch camo. Okay. I thought we were done with our uh, jackrabbits. Apparently not. Oh, there's our bloodshed camo. There's our thousand kills. We've got 500 more to go. The pack punch shouldn't be too far behind it. Hopefully. Any other upgrades I can do? We've been kind of using our salvage a little differently than normal here. Not only do we have to buy two self revives, but we've been crafting a lot as well. So not a whole lot of upgrades happening today. And then us dying, we had to buy back all those perks. So no pack three, it's looking like. We're starting to get hurt for it. Actually, we're getting kind of close to it. And I think we still have like, I don't know, 750 pack kills to get. So we might be able to get pack three today. And we'll be out of here by like, what, round 35 or something like that? Maybe sooner, maybe later. We'll see. Hopefully not before or not like after 40. I don't think it'll take that long. Oh, right, what's up, Panzer? Guess what? Aether Shroud, I'm out of here. Conviction Camel, let's go. Okay, now we're done with our, our jackrabbits. We had a lot to do still, apparently. We're getting hit quite a bit. We're going to need a pack punch three after this round. So if I don't go down... We should be able to get it, but this is going to be cutting it close. Yeah, we're going to stun so we can shatter blast these guys. No repercussions. Except for getting hit real hard. We're going to stun again. Okay, that didn't work. Hit the zip line. Oh, got out of there with no health. Let's go. Narrowly avoided going down. Oh, there's our drench. A thousand kills while pack a punch. So we're only 500 away from getting out of here. Last zombie. All right, let's get this pack three. It's about time. This is about pack a punch three. It looks like on a ballistic knife when the, the blade's all purple, it looks nice. The other color's not so much, but I do like the gold handle. The gold handle looks nice. And let's watch the, the balls swing around a little bit more. Look at them. Let them go. Beautiful. There's our rotten camo. All done with our normal kills. We only have uh, a few hundred more pack a punch kills to get. So we should be able to get it within the next round or two, hopefully. And we're down. Not cool. I'm gonna use the self revive. I'm lazy. Make sure we get Tombstone back. We got everything else. All right, and I think we have enough to go ahead and get another self-revive. So I'm going to go grab that right now. There we go. Oh, that was so nice. That was insane. And it's Gold Viper. Let's go. What a perfect way to get it. Chemical camo's all done. I'm hitting the nuke. And once all these zombies die, I'm quitting the game. We got no exfil window. We missed it. Mangler, you're going down. I think I'll, I'll, I'll actually let these last zombies kill me here while I'm under the turret instead of quitting. I'll inspect a ballistic knife. This turret is so useless. It hardly does any damage to you and you can move out of the way so easily. Like you have to actually stand here and actively get shot by it to die. But I will say this turret is useful for when you're getting chased by uh, what is it called? It's not a juggernaut. Why do you keep on calling that? A panzer. If you're getting chased by a panzer, you can lead it in here and it'll get like stun locked by the turret. So if like a panzer starts getting shot by the turret, it will not move from that spot and just get drilled till it dies. But let's hop into our tombstone shadow. Can I get shot in the tombstone shadow? Does the turret know? The turret has no idea. Take me out, zombies. See you guys in the afterlife. All right, our final stats here. 
1,856 eliminations, 387 crits, seven downs. Two of those there at the end were on purpose, but besides that, we were not doing too well. All right, let's go ahead and check out these camos on the ballistic knife. Let me take off the accessories. Actually, we can just take the sticker off. Unfortunately, little chicken, you gotta go. And we'll keep the balls on there because I don't think they really get in the way. But this is what Gold Viper looks like on our ballistic knife here. Not bad. Get the balls dangling, shaking them around a bit. <laughs> I'm mentally five, but it does not look bad. I'll tell you what. Let's check out Plague Diamond. Here's Plague Diamond. Not bad either. You see a whole lot of the secondary color here, but you're actually shooting diamonds with each bullet at people. I, I can't imagine how expensive that would get. If every single knife of yours has diamonds on it and you have to shoot it, and sometimes you won't recover those, you're literally killing people with how much money is on this blade? Can somebody do the math? You're killing somebody with probably like what? A hundred thousand dollars worth of diamonds? Actually, I don't know what plague diamonds are worth, but I'm gonna go ahead and just throw out a random number because I don't know. And dark aether. Uh I don't like how it's all on the blade. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know where it else would be, but you do get the whole the whole thing like we did with the crossbow where it's a whole lot of just the void texture. I mean, we're getting some color on it now and it seems like at different angles, the, the pink and purple go away, which is weird. Like right here, it's all void and you go here and it's a different color. Yeah, I don't know how much I like this. Maybe I'll change my mind in game. So let's go ahead and uh, see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the ballistic knife looks like with dark aether in game. And I think I was wrong. Guys, I forgot completely about the second knife that you get. Uh, it is showing a whole lot of the void camo, so I wasn't wrong about that. But seeing the Dark Aether on the, the ring on the left one is very nice. Get a nice little look at it on the blade there as well. And then it's showing up on uh, the little shooting mechanism part of it. And the, what is that, a pin? Looks pretty decent as well. But uh, not, the, not the greatest looking Dark Aether weapon, but it doesn't look the worst either. Let's, let's try to wait a little bit to see if we get a better pattern right there it looks good in my hand but i think like when i inspect it it goes to that void thing like we we're showing in the inspect like uh back in the, the camo menu maybe one more look yeah it's just a whole lot of the just almost obsidian looking like dark aether which is what i do not like well anyways there we go we got the blitz knife done it was a bit of a struggle there like once it hit like round 30 it was like bam in your face maybe even earlier that maybe 27 i think i think like late 20s early 30s that uh, blitz knife started falling off uh, i started struggling there a little bit but we ended up pulling through and getting all the camos for it but i think that's where we're going to end today's video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here Please consider subscribing, put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.